What's up guys, Ronnie Cruz here with Path of the Network Marketer 365 day video challenge where I bring you a fresh new video every day chronicling my adventures as I learn how to leverage social media to build my social, to build my social, to build my network marketing business, right? Um, and sharing those lessons with you uh, every day, every day, at least almost every day. I, I know I just, yesterday I shared with you a blog, in yesterday's episode, I shared with you a vlog of what's going on in my life. Document, don't create, right? Um, but I did, I did want to share some other things with you while I was out here sitting under the rain so, so that I have some episodes banked. Um, today I want to talk about building your list, right? It's a classic thing. Network marketers or any business, you've got to build a list, right? Like your list is, is your bread and butter. And, and for, for anybody who's in business, that's not building a list. You're fooling yourself. You're fooling yourself. Um, so, so I kind of wanted to just briefly discuss that and and give you guys an idea of, of the things that my perspective how it shifted um in terms over the last couple of months uh, what are we in 50 50s 60s almost so almost two months um my perspective on on building a list and especially for network marketing uh, of course traditionally a building list is just meeting people and you know networking is an important skill it's fundamental right like that's a fundamental skill connecting meeting people um and and if if you're one of those types that avoids that please stop please stop i'm telling you you're going to save yourself a lot of heartache pain and and struggle in the long term if you just get over your own fear of meeting new people i one of the things that really slowed my growth and slowed my my progress in in my career in network marketing in the beginning is that I, I avoided meeting people because I was not good at it. I was uncomfortable. I was um, terribly shy. I still am, but you know, whatever. I get over it. Um, but back then I was I was like debilitatingly shy, and because of that I was incredibly awkward. And so meeting people was 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 hard. Um, and it was a lot hard. I made it in my head. I made it a lot harder than it, it, it really needed to be. Because of that, I avoided it. And I wasted so much time looking for ways to avoid it, <laughs> right? Thinking, thinking that I was being productive, you know. Um, in the early days, I was, I was trying to learn attraction marketing and things like that. It was all really just kind of pioneering stuff in, in early in my career. All of that was just starting to come out. What I what I learned was that you got to have the fundamental skills, right? Like we have to know how to network and talk to people and meet people. Otherwise, all the other strategies, yeah, they're they're almost useless, right? Because it isn't necessarily the skill; it's the underlying mindset behind that skill right the mindset of confidence self-confidence self-worth um you know uh, uh or you know the the flip side is you know fear of judgment um fear of fear of uh well you know whatever the other fears are right fear of looking stupid fear fear of uh, uh standing out you know what i mean like all those fears um uh, most of it really is self-judgment um those things are, are what actually get addressed when you really commit yourself to learning some a fundamental like building your list and the skill of connecting and meeting new people, right? The, the benefit is, again, the skill is fundamental, but the core, the core fundamental that holds that up is again your, your self-worth your self-confidence um and and the mindset the mindset that that uh, that it, that it builds on so if you're not there work on it be willing to work on it just dive in like we talked about in in, uh, in a few episodes ago just go in head first because you know what like you're not gonna die yeah it'll feel uncomfortable and feel challenging but it's not it's not so huge of a deal that you you know it's not a make or break, right? You might, you might have a conversation that goes completely sideways or it's completely awkward and, 
and and the worst that can happen is you never talk to that person again that person your entire business and your entire career doesn't rest on that one person right so so be willing to do that and and i guarantee you it's going to help you yeah you will have so it'll benefit you so much more than right now than than learning all the other skills right because it's foundational it's foundational so that that being said there's lots of ways to meet and connect with new people right um historically again typically in 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 the offline world just whatever situation you can create to meet people you know back in back in the early days of my career it was like yeah just meeting people in the grocery store meeting people at barnes and noble barnes and noble was a good one i, I know i did a video on that um I talk to a lot of servers. I, you know, I'm always, always pitching the servers that if I'm out at a restaurant, um, just wherever, right? You just network. There's also networking events, things like that, um, that you can go to chamber of commerce. I was never really good at that because everybody was always just selling something. And, you know, like I, yeah, I, I'm not a fan. Um, I prefer to just be social and meet people. Um, Anytime you're out, right? Like we would, we would, uh, I remember we used to go to soccer games and, and inevitably you just strike up a conversation with somebody who is on your same team or cheering for the same squad, right? Um, so, you know, you can create infinite different situations in, in real life, right? In person, um, in, the, in the offline world where you can meet new people. Of course, that got a little bit tough during COVID, but, you know, it's not like that anymore. We're not we're not all locked in our houses like we like we were two years ago. Um, and then, of course, there's online. And with online, there's an infinite, infinite ways, infinite ways. Um, funnels is really, really becoming uh, uh, high on 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 the uh, well, on the forefront of the conversation um, for any business. And really, nobody really thought of. Well, I mean, at least I didn't. I, I just I just didn't need to look at funnels as a way to generate business for my network marketing business <laughs> it's austin powers moment um but it's it, again it's 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 more and more moving to the forefront of the conversation because it i mean it's a valid way to to build your list right like you can literally ju create a funnel just to build your list right uh, i i'm working with my good friend michael da costa who i've talked about many times on the show um on getting some lists launched we're partnered up together and and yeah we're just throwing some stuff up there and see 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 what works and and honing in and and we'll you know we'll fine tune it as as we go but the first list that i thought about was uh, it's just a list that get, helps us build our, our 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 email list right our contact list and so once you have that that's your audience um obviously there's lots of different intricacies with funnels and and things like that but you know, that stuff, that stuff any of us can learn. Um, again, it's a, it's a strategy. And within that strategy, those tactics are, are, are really actually very, very doable um, for the average network marketer. That said, remember, work on your self-confidence, work, work on your self-worth, work on the fundamentals, right? The foundational skills. And that will really, really translate well when you use online tools. Because here's the thing about online. Online is, is, is a magnifier, right? It's an amplifier for where you currently are in your own personal growth, right? So if you have the self-confidence, if you have the, the good self, self-worth, um, if, you're, it, you know, if you, you're good at those foundational fundamental skills, it's just going to translate really well online. If you don't, then it's going to be so difficult for you to get anything off the ground on, on, online. Even though funnels and, and, you know, those kind of affiliate deals are made, are made for people, are made for people who, uh, who don't want to be in front of the camera, right? Like who are shy and, and are introverted. Um, anyways, that's neither here nor there. Network marketing, if you want to, if you want to attract people to your, to your deal, um, you gotta, you gotta ha have that fundamental foundational skill of being able to connect and and uh and communicate with people um 
but yeah, the funnel is a great way to do that. And, and, you know, it, it gives you a way to, um, not only build your list, but build a very, very targeted list, depending on how, how specific and targeted your, your funnel is, your, your, your campaign. So that's something that we're, that I'm really trying to hone in and work on, um, and tweak. And it's really, again, it's really not as complicated as you might think. I was, I was super intimidated by funnels. Um, but once I, I got through Russell Brunson's trilogy of books, um, it's, yeah, I mean, conceptually it's just, yeah, it's just like, yeah, it's not that huge of a deal. Um, and, you know, partnering up with somebody like Mike, who has an incredible, incredible know-how around IT, um, because for me, like that's, that's, that's kind of the, the biggest, um, challenge my, 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 I mean, I, I just don't want to take the time to learn all that, <laughs> right? Like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the creator, uh, creative side. I'm, I'm, I'm the front of the camera guy. Um, I'm the content guy. The IT stuff is, is just something that I, I hate bothering with. And so, um, yeah, I'm really grateful to partner up with somebody like Mike who has that, that side of, of the equation really honed in and figured out. Um, so funnels, funnels are great. I'll be launching some funnels pretty soon. Uh, Mike and I, and we're just going to be, yeah, we're going to be running it. And, and, uh, he, I know he's launching a funnel very soon as well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a great way to do it. And again, it supplements what you're currently doing. What I would suggest as I talk about these different ways to build your list is employ as many, if not all of them as you can, because like, there's no reason not to. Um, number one, we're always all on the, on our, uh, what's it called? Our phones, our mobile devices are, we're always online. Number two, generally we're out and about now. You know what I mean? Um, people are going out more, so there's always opportunity to meet people in person. Um, and then, and then on the social feeds, right? Social media, you can connect with people all day long. Now, as far as building your list on social media, I have seen it done a few ways, um, you know, there are network marketers out there that are teaching just connect and friend up everybody and everybody, everybody and anybody who just happens to be in, you know, looking for, for similar, similar things that, as you are like, like, let's say if, if you're in health and wellness, um, join Facebook groups that are, you know, health and wellness focused, or, you know, follow people on Instagram who are into health and wellness and then and then just connect with them, right? Connect with them and, and, and you know, develop rapport and, 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 and uh, a friendship through social media. Simple, simple. You can do that. Now, there are, there are some, uh, what I was getting to is there are some network marketers out there that, that teach just go for it, like in, in the initial, in the initial contact. Right. Which in which case, uh, I mean, it's up to you, you know, people, you know, there, there will always be that 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 side of network marketing that um, that uh, teaches and encourages just working the numbers. Right. Right. Uh, and so, like, there's always these these challenges. Sign up or or, or talk to pe- talk to 100 people in, in, in the next five days. Right. Um, so that, 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 that will always be the case. Just be, just understand that that can come across as spammy. I'm not a fan. I rather, I'd rather make connections and, and make meaningful, have it, meaningful interactions, um, and develop rapport than do that. Now developing rapport can take time online. Um, but it's still, it's still better than not. So, so you can do that. You can, you can, you can connect, um, you can friend up or follow, um, uh, people and, and just develop, develop rapport with them. And it's just like meeting people in person, but online and social feeds. I mean, that's what social media is, right? Like it's, it's a, it's a gathering place of people from all over the, all over the world. And so you can do that. And that's one of the advantages too. You're not just relegated to whatever physical locale you happen to be a part of. Um, the other, the other way to use, so I guess this would be one, two, three, this would be the fourth. The other way to use social media and the social platforms is, uh, I, I might've talked about this in the past, but if I, if not, it, it's by developing and, and growing your audience, right? Growing your audience. Um, 
Yeah, growing your audience. I mean, it's as simple as as continuing to post, and and you're doing it anyways. So might as well be intentional and purposeful about it. Um, I may have talked about this in in a past video as well, but um, you know, using social media for your business, it has to be intentional. You have to be purposeful with with social media, and um, you you got to stop. Well, you have to make the transition from being a casual content consumer consumer to being really a content creator um, and publishing and, and the whole point of that um, is again to develop a, an audience to grow your audience and once you have an audience then then you're free to promote whatever you want to promote even if it's outside your own your own um, your own network marketing company you can develop side other out, uh, sideline income streams um, by promoting other products if you're successful in growing your audience to you know tens of thousands you know fifty thousand a hundred thousand then then you can really leverage that in a lot of different ways um, especially for network marketing of course you can leverage the heck out of that for network marketing um, so that's another way of doing it and again it's something that we're all already doing anyway and um, I, yeah i've talked about it plenty in the past i i love that because it just it's leveraging the tools for me that's how that's how i see it um, so those are those are the ways to to grow your list, right? You can grow it in person by actually meeting people and shaking hands and developing rapport and connecting. Um, you can do it through funnels, which is also good. You can do it through connecting with people online on social feeds, just like one on one. Um, and you can do it by growing your audience as uh, as a social media content creator. Right. And we've talked about being a content creator plenty of times. Um, so those those are the things to consider about building your list. I love it because for me, I love thinking about that and, and just reminding myself of all the different ways. There's probably more. And if I'm missing some, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let's uh, let's keep the discussion going. But uh, I love I love that there's so many tools you can employ all at once. Um, it just really it just really means to me that there's there's even less reason for failure in network marketing right there's even less there's less reason so um that's it for this episode guys uh it's actually longer than i expected it to be um yeah yeah hopefully that helps if you guys haven't uh, liked and subscribed go ahead and like and subscribe hit the bell um so that you get notifications fresh new video every day at 11 a.m eastern standard time um so yeah we'll just catch you in the next one until then be well be safe and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.